Hi, it's Jim from Armada. I'm here today to give you another short, short tutorial video on some measuring techniques that are important in this case in, low, in the case of low voltage lighting. Um, this is a um, Solos transformer. It's very similar to a lot of other lighting transformers in many regards. Uh, it's constructed a little differently on the inside. It provides uh, somewhere between 12 and 15 volts of power to power lighting fixtures, LED or incandescent. Um, an important thing to know about rating these systems is that it comes with a watt rating and it comes with a VA rating. And the important thing for a system like this is really the VA rating. Uh, partly because the circuit breaker on top here, which is typical with a uh, transformer, is driven by the amount of current that goes through the unit. So we have to check the VA to make sure this 300 VA rated transformer is not going beyond its rating. Uh, the quick way to do that is to use a clamp meter. Um, clamp meters make it very handy, in this case a true RMS clamp meter, of course, um, which allows us to measure the exact amount of current flowing in the system and not just the average current. So we are going to turn this on for a moment. Um, it's driving two 7.5 watt fixtures right now, and we might normally think that that's 15 watts worth of load. But what I'm going to show you is, in fact, that is over 20 watts, or 20 VA, Volt amps in load, at the end, which is what really counts for us. The way I'm going to check that is I look to measure the 12 volt voltage that's on the terminals here. It's 12.75. Then I'm going to take my uh, true RMS clamp meter and on the, and it's reading 1.9 amps, uh, which so 1.9 amps times 12.75 volts is the VA rating that I've got, and that's uh, somewhere over 22. If I were to measure it with a more conventional clamp meter, say our uh, Pro 90, it's telling me 1.4 amps times 12 volts. That is a wattage type number, and that's not what's really important to us right now. I want to measure VA. Now, if you don't have access to some multi-hundred dollar type clamp meters, especially a true RMS clamp meter like our Pro 93 or our Pro 95, um, it so happens we have a new little meter available that I'm going to show you how to use. It's a uh, Pro 40. It's a true RMS meter. It's not a clamp meter, though, so we have to connect it differently. What I'm going to do is insert the leads of this Pro 40 unit into the wiring and make a series measurement, we call it. Which, uh, clamping is nice because we can just go around the wire and read the, the current. But in this case, I'm going to have to... Um, uh, put the the meter in series before I turn it on so I can read the true RMS on the on the screen here So bear with me a moment, and I will change this over in a way that I can make this measurement Okay, I'm taking the lead the 12 volt lead off and I am going to um, instead stick one of the probes from my pro 40 into the location where the 12 volt wire was. So there, now I've got connected a current connection to my meter here. And then I'm going to take the empty lead and just whether twisting or in some some manner, I'm going to connect my probe to the, the lead that is coming on out to the LED fixture. So I have moved my plug-in lead over to the 10 amp position, common in the in the normal center position. I'm going to turn the, the meter on to amperes, AC amperes, turn on the backlight, and now when I turn on this fixture, I am reading a current that pretty much agrees with the clamp meter there, 1.8 to 1.9 um, amperes true RMS is being drawn from this transformer into these lights right here. And that compares to a regular averaging clamp meter that says it's 1.4 amperes, and that's quite a difference um, in VA versus watts. So we have to be careful to add up the number of VA we have in the field so that we don't exceed the 300 VA rating on this transformer. And um, this little meter, if you can connect it in series like this, um, is good for up to about 100 VA worth of testing, and uh, it gives you that real number for a cost that's more like $50 than $250. So, um, handy little trick to know when you're trying to size your transformers.